welcome to another episode of Crazy Little Book Page, where I talk about books and the pages in them. It's Roll Up the Room to Win time! Uh, everybody's favorite Canadian coffee place is doing Roll Up the Room to Win, so maybe I'll get lucky and win a car or something. Yes, I got my hair done today. I got it trimmed a little. And this is actually what my hair really looks like. It's really thick and curly normally. So if it looks like a hot mess, it really isn't. It's just my hair. <laughs> uh, I have in my hands a signed first copy of On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which I am so excited for. My pre-order came today and I am stoked for this book. I am going to be reading it, uh, buddy reading it with uh, Melanie from Mel to the Any. I'll link her channel down below. Um, I, I strongly suggest you check her out because she is the sweetest, most friendly girl. I just love her. I feel like we became fast friends from her being on YouTube. I had fo I've been following her on Goodreads for a long long time. Uh, pretty much since she came on Goodreads. I love her uh, reviews of books. I love her YouTube channel and you guys just need to check her out. So we will be buddy reading this on the 25th of February. Um, and I am so, so excited to finally have this in my hands. I feel like I've waited so long for it since reading The Hate You Give. And I cannot wait to delve into this. This is like my most anticipated read of 2019. And I cannot be happier that I am holding this in my hands. Uh, also, I am about... 42 pages into the Grishaverse, and I'm really loving this story. I'm really enjoying the pacing of this story, the writing of this story, the actual story of this story, and I cannot uh, tell you how much I'm enjoying this. I think I'm going to continue in this series. So far, this, from what I've read so far, it seems like it's going to be a five-star read for me. Which I hope it is because I've heard so many good things about this book. I'm really loving Alina and Mal. We, at the point that I'm at right now, we are just being introduced to the Darkling and I honestly can't wait to find out more about this whole universe so I can move into Six of Crows and find out what happens in that. So today has been a really good reading day for me. I finished uh, Dear Martin, which I'll put a picture of up here, um, which was a really great book. It is a book that follows a kid named Justice McAllister, who is writing a series of letters to um, Martin Luther King Jr. for a project that he started about what would Martin do and throughout the book we um, are going with him on this journey of discovery of where the racial divide is and why in that there's still issues with um, race and racial divides. We're still looking in present day that we still have these segregated issues and racial divides and during the book his friend Emmanuel gets shot uh, over a disagreement with another person like a plainclothes cop who's off duty uh, over music and it being too loud and the cop lies and says that they have a gun on them which is pretty typical of most shootings in the states that involve police and African Americans and when that happens Justice goes through this situation where he feels like this project is no longer valid and wonders why he's doing it um only to realize later on it's not about what would 
Martin Luther King do, it's about what would Martin Luther King be, and, um, I thought this book was really thought-provoking, it's something that a lot, I think that everyone should read, whether you are white, black, indigenous, uh, Asian, I think that you should read it, regardless of what color your skin is, or what you identify with, because it does bring valid issues to the forefront, and I really wanted to read more diverse reads, especially, like, reads that are to do with, like, racial issues and issues of not just racial issues, but sexuality issues, those kinds of things, and I want to get hard-hitting books, and I think this book really did that for me. I've also listened to 70, I think like 73% of The Shadow and the Fox, and I'm re- or The Shadow of the Fox, which I am really enjoying. It's got a lot of uh, Japanese culture in it, and I really enjoy that, learning about other cultures through fiction. Um, it is own voices because Julie Kagawa is I believe Japanese American, but I am really enjoying, I'm really, really enjoying, yeah, she's Japanese American, so I definitely am enjoying this book. It's got a lot of fantasy elements, which is really nice to see, and I, I just really enjoy that kind of literature, so I'm 73% done that. I also read about 54 pages of Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, which Today has been a really good day for reading for me. Um, I am so impressed with the amount of reading I've gotten done. So that brings me up to three books that I have done for the month of February. I am going to continue on with Sleeping Beauties. Probably not today though. I am going to continue more into Shadow and Bone tonight before I go to bed. And I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I had a really good reading day today and I hope that continues on tomorrow. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update um, about where I'm at today. Uh, it's been a good reading day today too. I think that's because I inventoried a bunch of books which I still have to input into my spreadsheet but I spent all day writing and my hand was just hurting and I did not want to type anymore so I came out to the living room and started reading um, more of Shadow and Bone and I <clears throat> haven't gotten very far in it yet but I'm still working on it. Um, I did get about 77% of the way through um, The Darkest Star, which is number one in the Origin series. I'm about 32% in that, and I'm also reading In Peppermint Peril, which is the first one of the Cozy Mystery book series from the book I was reading last week, so I, I did find it on my library. I actually requested they buy it, and they did, so I'm reading that. Um, as well at night so I'm about five percent into that I just started it the day before yesterday so and I'm only reading it while I'm in bed so overall today I have had a really good reading day as well finished uh Shadow of the Fox which like I said yesterday I was really enjoying and I did really enjoy um Shadow of the Fox um well I gave it three stars on Goodreads because they don't allow half stars which really is irritating but it was more like a three and a half star read I didn't love it but I didn't hate it I really enjoyed the mythology and uh the budding romance that happens in the book and I do look forward to the next book in the series so there's that so I finished a book today which makes three for this month I got 77 percent of the way through a second book today which will make four for this month and I'm about 35% of the way through Shadow and Bone uh, so so far this month it's been a good reading month um, and this week even I finished a book this week I'll probably fin I'll finish a book tomorrow uh, because I only have about an hour left in that 
The Darkest Star book, which I'll put a picture of up here. So I'm happy with that progress. This week will probably be a two book finish, maybe three book finish. Um, I haven't got any more done in Sleeping Beauties. I will get to that tomorrow, hopefully. But I'll listen to some more audiobook for uh, while I'm entering stuff into the computer, into the spreadsheet. I finished a book today, The Darkest Star, by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and it was- I'm sorry, my glasses are really glary. Um, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was a five-star read. I can't wait to read the next in the series. It makes me want to go read the Lux series and see how I like that. And I've never read any of Jennifer L. Armentrout's books, so it makes me want to go back and read her backlist books. Um, so that was Five Star Read. I'm still reading a book, Tea Mystery, book number one in Peppermint Peril. I'm about 7% into that, and I'm also still reading... Shadow and Bone by the Grocery Trilogy, or by the Grishavers. Uh So my standing so far this month is, let me just check here. So I've read five books this month, which is the amount of books I read in January. So I'm obviously going to get um, more than five books read in February, which really makes me happy because February is a short, short month. Um... I'm also reading a mystery thriller right now uh, on audiobook. I have eight books out from the library right now, so I kind of got to get them done before they go back. Um, I'm reading I See You by Claire McIntosh. So far I'm liking it. It's about a woman who's a detective, I think. I'm not really sure. I don't really like going into my thrillers knowing too much about them. Um, so I'm reading that as well on audiobook. I'll probably finish that tomorrow. I didn't want to really read, um, too, too much. Uh, but so far it's, it just starts with her commute home. Uh, and that's all I've really thought about it. Uh, except she sees... Her face on this classified ad uh, online so um, or a classified ad in the newspaper with a listing of a website and that's all we have so far I'm not far into it I'll read it tomorrow while I'm diamond painting because I need to do some diamond painting tomorrow and finish it off and send that off to somebody uh, because I'm far far behind on my diamond paintings and getting them sent out. So let's talk about Shadow and Bone for a second. I have about 133 pages left to go and I just got to a part where I am so mad. I was kind of rooting for Alina and the Darkling. I'm not gonna lie I kind of got caught up in this whole like slow burn romance that was happening. I got really caught up in this slow burn ro romance that was happening. And then I get to a part that does not make me very happy where Bagra has a conversation with Alina about the Darkling's true intentions. And now I'm all very, very mad. I, ugh, I don't even want to talk about it because I'm so mad. Like, I'm that mad. I... I don't like the Darkling anymore. I don't want him and Alina and to end up together. I have heard that they possibly do. I'm not going to ruin it for myself, but I have heard that from some booktubers, but I don't want to believe it's true because the Darkling is not a good person. Not a good, good character. He's actually very unlikable. And from the first moment we met him, I kind of did not like him, but he grew on me. But now he's not in my good books anymore. So there's that. So this is my final clip for uh, the week of February 7th to the 14th. I finished um, four books, well, 
technically have finished four books. I'll be finished the fourth book tonight, so I'm just going to include it in this wrap-up. Um, I finished Dear Martin, which is a book about a, a boy who is writing letters for a project to Martin Luther King. I've talked about it in this wrap-up, in this clip here, um, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. Uh, I finished The Darkest Star, which is the first book in the origin origin series which is a spin-off of Jennifer R uh, Jennifer L Armentrout's uh Lux series. I finished The Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa um which is the first in the Shadow of the Fox series and I finished uh Shadow and Bone which is the first book in the Grisha verse by Lee Bardugo. Uh, I will be getting the second and third books of this series because I really enjoyed this. It's going to be a four, like, it's not going to be a five star read for me, but it is a four star read for me. So I will talk about this in the next video that I have up, uh, like, as a wrap up. I can't talk about it right now because I still have like 35 pages left to go. So once I have that uh, finished, I will do another clip wrapping it up and talking about it. I am halfway through two more books. I See You by Claire, Claire McIntosh, which is a thriller um, that I'm listening to on audiobook right now. I am about 66% of the way through it right now. And I am about halfway through In Peppermint Peril, which is the first book of the A Book, Shot, a book Tea Mystery series, which I have talked about the Sweet Tea and Secrets uh, book, the second book that's coming out in July in my last video, so go be sure to check that out. Um, so overall this week was a really good reading week for me. I mean, four books done, two others halfway done. I think I'm going to beat my record of books read in an entire month <laughs> this month, um, which makes me really happy. and. To my new subscribers, thank you for coming and subscribing to me. I do appreciate you guys. If you have watched this video and you liked it, please do click the like button down below and click sub subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you'll get notifications whenever I have videos. Um, and with that, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye!